Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. Today is, I'm going to do a video based on the Wool Queen. So, why? Because I think over the last month, I've purchased a bit of yarn from her and I never even actually showed you guys. So, I'm going to go and show you guys what I've gotten over the last while from her. Now, you guys have watched my videos before. You will know I have purchased more yarn from her. Um, I purchased quite a lot of yarn from her, actually. So, I thought it was aimed the right way. Well, actually, there is one, two, three yarns up there that I did purchase from the Wool Queen. But I have a shelf over that way that you can't see that has all one whole shelf is just stuff I've bought from the Wool Queen. Um, I've gotten quite a few of her cakes that she still has on the clearance that are um, like for making shawls. And there's a shawl pattern that comes on the ball band. You can uh, use that. Um, I can't reach it. It's up there anyway. I have showed that in a previous video. But today I'm going to show you some of the recent stuff that I have purchased from her. It's quite a bit actually. So, and I don't know why I never showed you guys. So, I actually love her clearance page. I have bought a lot of clearance yarn from her. I've also bought, if you guys haven't used it, it's like a really cool, really nice, a premium acrylic yarn. It is Cascade Anthem yarn. I did use, I did buy a lot of that from her as well. I use it because I like it. It's really nice. Um, but re recently I bought, um, she had Mary Maxim Baby Cashmere. It's 50% acrylic, 50% nylon. They're 50 gram balls, so it's 109 yards per ball. And she had packs of 10 up on her thing for, for sale. This I can't see the colorway, guys. It has a color number. It doesn't have a color. Oh, no, it does have a color name. Never mind, I lied. Sunkissed. So I got a pack of 10 of those. I had blankets in mind when I when I saw this and I was looking at it. And I might still do it. I just don't know yet. I'm going to be trying to figure some stuff out. This one is called Tickled Pink. So it's another 10 pack of the same Mary Maxim yarn. Very, very pretty. They're very, they're in their packages, so I'm not going to open them. I'm, I apologize for that, but it's because I'm going to be putting them in the closet just so that way when I'm ready to use them, they are all together in a, in a, in a bag. Then I got this one, which the color is, it's got to be one ball band that shows me the color of this one. Um, powder puff. So powder puff, there's 10 of those. And... The third package, Hint of Mint, another package of that, 10 of those. So this is going to be nice. I'm not sure exactly 100% what I'm doing with it. I know I'm going to do something with it. I just don't know what. Um, now, I have purchased a lot of yarn from her. So I will try my best to show you guys. I do know I've showed maybe one or two of these on another one. But I'm not sure. So this is another one that I got off her. It was on clearance. It is James C. Barrett Misty DK in a nice light gray. And I don't see the actual colorway. But each each one is 305 yards. And it is 94% premium acrylic and 4% viscose. So it is really squishy, really soft, really nice yarn. So that is... Four of those guys. I can't remember if these were being sold separately or as a package of four because she has had um, quite a few like those um, baby yarns I just showed you were by 10 and it was for a certain price and so I bought that. Now the next thing I got which is yes it's readily available at Michael's everywhere really uh, Walmart however she has this on the clearance rack cur currently on the clearance rack. You get two balls for 12 bucks and that makes it six dollars each you're not going to pay that price at walmart or at michael's even michael's on a sale it still goes down to 8.99 never six bucks so i got two of the white i had planned to make something i just can't remember what i had planned when i purchased that then you guys have seen 
I got two baby kits. Yes, the patterns are missing because I was looking at them and reading them and then I put them somewhere and I can't remember where. But this is Mary Maxim kits. So there's all Mary Maxim yarns in here. Very cool. And then there is, that's, I got the white one too. And again, the patterns are out of here because I was reading them. I think I have them downstairs. And then I got a third one, which you'll notice there is yarn missing because I have started a blanket, a baby blanket. It is downstairs and it has a hook in it and I've already used two balls and I'm going to continue to get that finished. So that is <laughs> not it. I have more yarn that I've purchased from her. Um, I'm not talking prices because I can't, one, can't remember. You would think I would write things down and be more... Um, prepared but that's not me um <laughs> maybe a goal for this year I will try my best to be more on point and maybe take notes and be a little more organized anyway that being said um I also saw on her page she had some everyday sorry premier everyday plaid tartan planned pooling now I never do anything with planned pooling but I like premier yarn so I wanted to get this and she had it in a package of three it has a it's heavy so it must have quite a bit of yarn where's the info on this hold on i'm looking 360 yards per ball it is 100 percent anti-pilling acrylic and it's a size four the color for this one is called Mag magenta purple plaid so i got a bag of that and then she had other yarns that i thought were pretty cool I've never tried it, but I wanted to make some stuffies. And one of my plans was to make them to donate to police officers and whatnot. Um, I know that they do that. They like to have stuffies in their trunk for when they have to deal with kids and things. And I think that's cool. So she had Premier Parfait yarn, which I have never actually worked with. I know it is soft and plushy. So I was planning on making some stuffies out of this and I got... One bag of three, which is cotton candy color. And what's the info on here? 192 yards per bag. It is a five bulky and it is 100% polyester. So I got one bag of the, the pink, which is cotton candy or whatever it's called. One bag of color is upside down. Creme de menta or something. It's like a yellow very light light yellow so I got that one and I got two more I got the blue the baby blue colorway which I know there's an actual color name I don't know it's saying the exact same colorway as the other one creme de menthe but it's not it's blue the other one was yellow this one's blue and then this one is like a light brown tan kind of thing. What one is this? This is Colorway Toffee. So I got a bag of that. So that is what I purchased. I think I'm just looking to make sure there's no more in there. Nope. That's what I purchased from the Wool Queen. Um, I did purchase quite a lot of yarn from her as of late. Um, what can I say? She has a lot of good deals on the clearance yarn. Um, she is unfortunately sold out of all the baby kits, but it's because, um, so many of you guys saw the great deal and Lisa talked about it on her channel and then Jennifer talked about it on her channel and everybody went right away and went and purchased what she had left and she's now officially run out. So she hasn't got any more of the baby kits that I know of. I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I saw that she sold it anyway. So I always say to everyone, if you have the time and have the opportunity to go check out her website, go and check out her clearance. I love the clearance yarn. I'm a clearance fanatic. I love clearance anything, but a lot of these packages, you would think that they are not necessarily, you go, Oh, well that's expensive, but it's 10 balls of yarn. I think it was like 20 something bucks. But anyway, it's 10 balls of yarn. Same color. It is a yarn that I can't get anywhere else. Um, I, I don't mind. 
paying a little bit more when it comes to getting yarn that I can not get at Walmart, not get at Michael's. And I have been able to get it elsewhere, but then I have to pay shipping. A lot of the places that these yarns are from are from the States and it costs a fortune for me to ship them to me. So I don't mind buying them from a smaller local company. Like most of you know, she is here in Oshawa. She is local to me. And I do, I have been shopping with her for, well, almost a year and a bit now. Probably more than a year. I'm probably forgetting how long I've been shopping there. But uh, I definitely love, love Jan. She is amazing and she has great customer service. Uh, even Jennifer has said that when she places an order, Jan is immediately getting it ready, getting it out shipped, and it is quick. And she is very, very open to uh, be available for comments for questions she has a Facebook messenger that when you go on her website if you have questions you can immediately send her a message she's really quick to get back to you yes she is a human and yes she has a life and yes she may not get back to you within a second but she does her best so if you guys are looking for some yarn and you don't know where to shop and you're interested or even if you're Canadian and you're looking to support a Canadian shop uh, check out the Wool Queen. I always leave her linked in all of my videos. I do not have an affiliate link. I don't have a code at this time. Um, as soon as I do, anytime I have codes or anything to save money or discounts or whatnot, it is always in my descriptions um, of every video. I always just copy and paste it over so that way it's always in my videos. Even if I'm not speaking directly about the Wool Queen, her link is always in my videos with uh, if there is a disc like a discount code or anything it's always linked in the description uh today is january 1st 2021 i do not have a code as of today but we're also currently on lockdown um i haven't had a chance to talk to jan yet i will keep you guys updated as soon as i know what's going on uh, i'm hoping that jan and i can collaborate and do something cool for a uh, Advent at the end of the year for Christmas. I'm super hoping we can figure out something for that because I personally love Advent now. I'm hooked on them. I, <laughs> I definitely want an Advent calendar this year too. Um, I'm hoping that we can collaborate something and come up with a cool uh, Advent calendar. So I'm hoping to have details on that. I don't know how that's going to work yet. We're still, you know, in a very early process of even thinking about it. I mean, it's just January, right? We have 12 months till Christmas. Um, just anyway, I'm, I'm rambling now. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And like I said, go and check out the Wool Queen if you're interested in scooping up some of her clearance stuff. She does still have quite a bit on clearance. Uh, she also still has some of the velvet yarn on clearance. She also still has some of that baby yarn that I showed you with the 10 packs um, on her site. So you guys can get in there and get that deal. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day and happy new year. And I will be back in a later video, probably the same day. Um, I want to talk about my goals for my channel and upcoming things. And I will talk to you guys again shortly, later today, and uh, we'll see you guys then.